Hi guys, welcome to my channel Fabric and VI Element. And in this video, I will show you how you can migrate or replicate your semantic model and part by report to use a new lake house published in a different workspace. Okay, so I will show you the current setup. I have two workspaces, old and new workspace. In my old workspace, I have a lake house and a semantic model and a part by report. If I show you the lineage view, my Power Query port is connected to this, this semantic model, and this semantic model is connected to the my lake house. I'll show you the new workspace. I have this lake house, which is just the replication of my old lake house, and I have these two notebooks. And this notebook replicates the semantic model and publishes this semantic model into my new workspace. and And this notebook can be used to rebind the new semantic model with Power Query port. Okay, if I show you this notebook, for this notebook, I have taken the inspiration from this blog, which is published by Sandeep Babar, and he's also helping to build this, this code. And Chad, I also taken the help of Chad GPT, right? And in this code, we just need to replace these parameters, right? In the source workspace ID, I just need to provide my workspace ID of my old workspace. And here, I just need to provide my old semantic model ID. And here, I need to provide my new workspace ID. And here, I need to provide what should be the name of my new semantic model. And here, I should give my new lake house name. And here, the workspace ID in which my new lake house is published. Okay. And if you don't know what ID is, Generally, when you open a Power BI report inside your, your browser, we'll generally see this type of URL and group is your workspace and report ID is your Power BI report. And when you open a semantic model, you will see data set and then data set ID. Same goes for lake house, warehouse. Yeah. And, and here, if I provide my all the parameters and if I provided them correctly and I just need to run this code. It will take some time to run. Okay, my code has successfully executed. If I open my new workspace, I can see my new semantic model has been created. And if I open it, I can see there is an error. So, what this means is I just need to refresh my semantic model once. Yes. And once this is run, then the error has gone. And as you can see, my old semantic model also has some type of relationship. And this is many to many. That's why you are seeing this. And if I show you the measures also, you can see I've also created the measure in my old semantic model. The measure is also here. And if I show you the lineage view, So this is my lake house in my new workspace and I have this semantic model created. And for the report, so in order to get the report in that workspace and that rebind this report into that newly created semantic model, we just have to save as copy 
and give the name. Select this workspace and just click on save. Once this is there, I can go to my new workspace. And I can see this is here, but this report is still connected to my semantic model published in our old workspace. And, and in order to rebind this, like rebind this newly created report to this semantic model, I just need to run another script, which is this one. So in this, we need to provide workspace ID of my new workspace and report ID, which is the newly created report ID, which you has just copied from old workspace to new workspace. I just need to copy that ID. Yeah. And I also need to provide my new uh, data set ID, which is new ID of the new semantic model. Once I provide all the parameters, if I run this, yeah. so you will see this pop up, and here is the code that you have to copy. And just click on this link. It will ask you the code and just paste it. And click on next and just sign in. Continue. And and, in, and it will successfully execute it. And if I go to my new workspace again, and, and if I click on refresh this. And if I click on my lineage view, I can see my newly created report is connected to new semantic model, and the semantic model is connected to the lake house in new workspace. So, so that's how you can migrate or replicate your current semantic model or pathway reports to use a new lake house in a different workspace. If you want about this notebook, you can just message me on my LinkedIn. I will be more than happy to share it with you. And yeah, see you again next time. Bye.